Okay, we are here today to show you how to replace a broken or a screen that is not working on an HP ProBook G450 model G6. Okay, as you guys can see, um, I do have the power on and obviously the screen isn't working. If you look carefully here, you can, you can see the screen is already busted, okay? So it's not working. So the best way to do it is obviously we're gonna unplug the power and making sure that the computer off and by just simply pressing on the power and hold your finger till it goes off. So it's really completely off. And the best way to start out with, we need to get something like a uh, flat screwdriver, a small one. It's better to have like a plastic one or a uh, something you could be able like that, even I'm using this piece of cardboard, which I'm gonna show you later on how I have to use it. So with this thing here, it's basically plastic. Uh, it's just a plastic housing that is holding it. Could stick my, my screwdriver in here and start popping it. Or I could do it from here if I would like. You see it on the side? And once you go like this on an angle first, you see it? Like this and then pry it like that pry it by pushing and once you get the screwdriver in you see it? these things are held up by small clips onto the cover of the computer so once you get this thing in you start doing it like this with your finger watch you see it I managed to do it earlier but it would take a little longer and just slowly do it with your finger and if not you could just put the um the screwdriver once again like that and to get it to get it to work you follow what i'm saying see it and once it start coming off see now once this is, comes off you see this thing it's held up by this one this is also has to come off so the best thing is to do again you bring the flat screwdriver and you have to be very careful and just pry it pry this thing like that without breaking it you need to pop it you understand what i'm saying if it, you don't hear popping it means you're about to break it you don't want to break this thing okay and and just start popping it. See how it came up a little bit? And slowly, slowly get this thing up. You see it? The only thing is you have to be a little patient. I mean, I don't wanna break it and it came off finally. Now, you put this plastic, let me zoom out a little bit. So you finally take this one off and you put it right here that we need to take off. This one is held up by um, a small like glue in the back, one here and one here. And the best way to do it, like a hair dryer, basically something to melt in the back of that. And let's do it. And uh, before you also change, uh, make sure you order the part. I already ordered this part from Bright Focal. So let's just take a look at it. I mean, they have it really nicely neat done, these guys. I ordered it the next day, they just send it to me. So let's take a look at the, the screen. It's really fast. I usually get my stuff from eBay or um, Amazon but it depends on the pricing and I got this as a great deal. Okay. So now we're gonna heat up the back of the computer or the laptop in order for us to get this off. So this is how we're gonna do it. Come this way. So now we know it's nice and hot and then you move this thing 
And what you can do is basically, let me see if I can move the camera around. Here we go. So right now, this is where it's held up right here. So what are we gonna do is, once again, I could take my flat screwdriver and pry it right here. You see it? Right here, just to get it, to get this thing off, okay? Or to make it loose. And I could leave my screwdriver here. And then I could have like a small plastic um, board, or I could have even, believe it or not, something like this one. So watch this. So I could put it right here. And what I'm basically trying to do, not to have the screen shattered or broken and I may hurt myself or, because I want to use the stuff that is a glue in the back for the new one. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to put this in here and slowly pry it off. You see how it's working it? And if it doesn't go any further, you need to use the hair dryer again. But since I did it early, I just want to demonstrate how I got this thing off. So now we got this thing off, right? So we do the same thing in the back right here. You follow what I'm saying? You see how it starts to come off? And if it gets stuck like that and it doesn't move anymore and you feel like this screen is about to break, you do again by getting the hair dryer in the back and you do it again. And then I just wanna show you how. Okay. And slowly moving. Okay, now it's coming off basically. So I just wanna show you in the back. You see how in the back, see that glue? This stuff is really hard to come off. So you may need to use the hair dryer more and more to slowly take it off. And the other side, it may be a little bit different color, but it's the same thing. This is a 30 pin. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. A 30 pin. So this was attached to this one. So you move this thing like that and you lift this thing up and it would come off. So this is how we get the screen out, okay? Okay, so basically we took the uh, broken screen out and as you guys can see, the 30 pin that attaches to the monitor. And uh, you see right here, hold on a second, let me see it. See this, like a clip, you need to put it back on, so make sure you do not lose it. Anyway, so, if you need to know exactly what the part number to order, it would be right here. You see it, it says N156BGAEA3 revised C2. You need the whole thing because sometimes it could be C3, C1, and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't have to be the exact model that I'm showing here, but you need to get something like that. All right, and uh, we're gonna get this one out and we're gonna get the new one. And see how it's pushed in all the way. Let me do a little bit more close-ups. Couldn't be any better than that. Ta-da! All right, so let's zoom out for a second. Make it sure. And then you put this tape on it so it does not come off when you put it back up. Sometimes they have a clip on the side, so you make sure you put the clip. Sometimes they don't. And it doesn't hurt to put like a piece of tape over it if you like, if you're not sure. Other than that, that's about it. So now we're gonna do is this, we're gonna lift up. Oh, by the way, before we do any of that, I would like, see these things are already, when I took out the old one, they're kind of a little bit dry right now. So what I would do or recommend, heat them up, heat both sides up, and then put this back up so it would stick better. So let's do that. So we're gonna heat up these uh, rubber on both sides to make them a little bit more hot or they could be more stickier. So make sure you do that. Just go like this. So put this thing down. We know we already got this thing connected. So you lift this thing up basically right now. And we're gonna have it sit um, on the side. So this is how we, the best way to do it is I would rather bring the computer so I would lay the computer down flat, as you guys can see. And then after I put the new monitor and I just press a little bit on it on both ends where the glue used to be, you follow what I'm saying? And you come over here. You don't wanna to press too much because <laughs> obviously you don't wanna break it again. So make sure it is flush. 
all right all right so that's about it so the next thing is we can do is we need to bring the bracket which is this see as you guys can see the new monitor or the new screen i did not remove this hard cover yet because we're about to uh, put the cover so let's take this off and we do it slowly and we bring this in see how it looks you bring this one you line it up okay and once we line it up like that here you press just a little bit just a little bit and here we're gonna line up the edges okay and you press a little bit alongside once you hear the clipping i like that clipping noise it means um it's going into where it's supposed to and you're not breaking it and that's about it all right so after we make sure that's snugly clipped on on, on all sides you know i'm just like doing it like this you know what i mean so you don't want to really put a lot of pressure and you hear these clips going in you don't want to put any pressure on the screen itself you don't want to break it again okay so we turn on the computer and let's just try it and here we go the computer and the screen looking good